In September 2016, I was offered a two-year-old thoroughbred gelding for free after his owner passed away. I'd already had two horses in the past from the same farm. I wasn't exactly looking to get a horse at the time as I wanted to wait until after the winter, but I did eventually want to get Milo a friend and the horse was free so I said yes. I'd met him before as a weanling and yearling, but only very briefly. I went to visit him at the track once before he came to my barn on October 1st, 2016. He was so bored from being stalled at the track, but not training, that he'd pawed his hooves to the point where they were squared off at the front. Despite this, he was so quiet, it was surprising for a horse of his age. His name at the time was Bracken, but we changed it to Archie. Archie ran two races and did not do very well. He came very near dead last in both races. Archie ran 6th out of 7 horses in his first race and 9th out of 9 horses in his second. He may not have wanted to be a racehorse, but he showed so much potential for being a riding horse and continues to show that potential. He was so quiet and easy, especially for a thoroughbred straight off of the track, that there were honestly times where we wondered if he could have been given a 30-day tranquilizer. But the farm he was from is very honest, and we knew they wouldn't hide something like that. Plus, after a month, he remained the same. From October to February, Archie just did groundwork and desensitization. I got on him once or twice, bareback in a halter, to ride him back to the field, but that was the extent of any ridden work off of the racetrack that he got before his three-year-old year. He got to spend a lot of time being a horse, playing out in the field and developing a friendship with Milo. Archie proved himself to be an extremely playful horse, which meant that it was a lot of fun watching him and Milo together. However, due to his passive nature, this also meant that he got a fair amount of battle wounds from Milo. He is now finally learning how to stand up for himself more, and their friendship has become more equal. Archie was extremely clumsy throughout the winter and has remained so. He's always bumping his head on things, scratching it on blackberry bushes, you name it. This means he almost always has some sort of cut on his face. He is like a toddler. After spending the entire winter sitting around and playing, with some short groundwork sessions, Archie got his first real ride back after the snow melted and it started warming up in late February. As expected, there were no fireworks and he was a very easy and respectable young man to ride, other than the typical track stiffness and leaning into the bridle. Archie still continues to break basically every stereotype there is surrounding thoroughbreds, especially ones off the racetrack. Other than being an unbalanced baby and just being green, there have been virtually no problems or fireworks with him while riding. Around his fifth or so ride off the track, I tried riding him bridleless and he was great, once again proving to be the quietest and most sane baby in existence.
Of course, the one time Archie tried anything under saddle, it had to be with my boyfriend, who had only ridden three times. But, true to Archie's relaxed demeanor, even his definition of being bad was pretty tame. Archie was in work on and off throughout the spring and summer. He'd get ridden around one to two times a week and would also end up getting weeks off at a time in between works. I brought Archie to his first show in June. This was his first time off property other than hacking out once or twice. This was also his first time being ridden in an arena with more than one other horse. He did not bat an eye and was so perfect with handling the busy and unfamiliar nature of the show. He even placed second in his first ever flat class. Archie continued to surprise us with how quiet he was. Still to this day, I think I can count on one hand the number of times he has spooked. Archie has always been great with loading, despite not having hauled very much. He attended his second show in August, where he did a trot poles class. Once again, he was great with no spooking or fireworks other than being more pushy than usual on the ground. As summer turns into fall, Archie still isn't getting worked very much and has a very relaxed lifestyle. He continues to live outside 24-7 with his best friend Milo. We are now starting to introduce him to a more consistent schedule of two to three days a week of work, usually with one lunch day, but still his life is mostly dedicated to being a baby and playing. The plan is to get him more well versed on the flat prior to winter, then he will have most of the winter off unless the weather is mild or he's moved somewhere with an indoor. Then in the new year we will continue his flat work training and he will be lightly started over fences as a four-year-old, and potentially shown in the Thoroughbred series. Archie has been a pleasure to work with so far. With his amazing mind, I think that he has the potential to do great things. I'm excited to continue working with him and watching him develop. <laughs>